In this video, we'll be going over how to simply set up the SQL portion of the NAV installation, including how to create a demo database, which is always a good idea just to test out your configuration. So once again, we're going to go to our 2009 setup program. And once our welcome screen appears, we're going to click Next, read the license terms carefully, and again we're going to choose the installation option and I will usually install custom components to select the pieces I need in this case we're going to install the SQL server option and I like to install the demo database uh, double check your destination folder as appropriate we're running this on the SQL server so many times uh, running this component on the SQL server there might be some different locations that we would want to install this to when we click next there's the option to click on the link to give parameters for this installation it is always a good idea to take a quick look at this if you are using named instances on this server this would be where you enter the named instance. This is also where you define the SQL database name that you're creating. In this case, we'll go with the default demo nav 6.0 database, and it gives you the option to replace the existing database. And the installation has completed. What this process has done is installed the necessary DLLs to support the extended store procedures for Windows authentication for the NAV system, as well as created the demonstration database based on our configuration settings. If we go take a look in our SQL Management Studio, we will see that the demo database NAV 6.0 has been created.